A woman is a full circle. Within her is the power to create, nurture, and transform. Diane Marie Chow. What's poppin' girls? You've just tuned in to season two of Broken Women Win Podcast. (laughs) Discovering purpose in Christ beyond our ramshackle past. I am none other than your hope dealer, Ashley Leanne coming to snatch you out of the trenches of despair. So, sit back, relax, grab a snack, get your Bibles, notepads, and something to drink, because honey, we've got a lot to discuss. What's poppin', y'all? Oh my goodness, I know it's been so long since I have recorded. Please, please, please forgive me. I've had my world flipped upside down, twisted, turned around. Whatever you can think of has been happening in my life. Um, I don't know how long this episode is going to be. I really don't even have a title for it, but I wanted to give you guys an update to let you know where I am, what's been going on with me. Uh, Why haven't I recorded in a little over a month? Well, first of all, I had to relocate. I'm no longer in Georgia. I'm back home. Now, my second home, as a matter of fact, which is great old Montgomery, Alabama. And uh, yeah, your girl is starting anew. I mean, going into the new year, my birthday is on next Sunday, which is the 29th, and I'll be 37 happy birthday to me yes and i'm super excited to be living i know i ain't made it there yet but still i mean hey you know so many people don't live to see the age of 37 and i'm really excited about that excited about new things that are coming in 2020 but yeah um i relocated i left georgia as i forestated um my boys and i are staying with my sister in montgomery until you know i can get back on my feet Um, awesomely enough, God has already opened a door for me, um, as far as a job. So I'm already working. I moved back, um, to Montgomery the week of Thanksgiving. So on that Monday, I moved Tuesday, we unloaded the moving truck, put my stuff in storage. I had an interview Tuesday afternoon at 430 after I unloaded the truck and got hired with the job. So yeah, to God be the glory with that. But yeah, I am somewhat exhausted, um, a little bit emotional. Uh, I don't know. I'm just I'm in a I'm in a place right now where whatever it is God is wanting to do in my life. Um, I mean, I've literally been stripped of everything, and I'm like, okay, God, what do you have for Ashley to do? And it's just been you know, with the whole training thing with my job and getting the boys registered for school and finding uniforms for them. I've literally been running since I've been back. Today is actually December the 22nd. And uh, we've been back now uh, about three, about three and a half weeks, a few days uh, off from a month. I've been back. And um, like I said, we're living with my sister right now. And this is my first time really having the energy and being alone because she works third shift so she's not here the boys are not here they're with my mom and my dad for um for today so um this is my first time being able to really record because I don't have you know my space anymore but that's okay because we're gonna make it work you know it is what it is and sometimes you know you have to find your footing where you are you have to bloom where you are planted and right now I am planted on ground zero yes (laughs) it's a little bit uncomfortable but you know I trust what God is doing in this uh, dispensation of time and uh I'm looking forward to 2020. So as far as 2020 goes, what can you expect from the podcast? Okay. So right now I am uh, working on my content calendar and I, I want to have it completed by the end of the year. And I do have a little bit of time, just a smidget of time, you know, to where I can sit down and get some things 
uh, worked out some things going. I have a, a few interviews lined up. Don't know exactly when I'm going to uh, have those posted. However, like I said, I am working on uh, the content calendar for 2020. So things will just flow a little bit better for me. Um, I think it'll be easier for me to just have everything planned out because, you know, proper planning prevents poor performance. So in order for me, you know, to want to be um, proactive and have things planned out and worked out with a spirit of excellence, I'm sitting down and brainstorming. I have a couple of people that um, that I'm working with that's doing the same thing and you know, just trying to just gather everything, just, you know, gather, you know, life back again. And the next podcast that you'll hear, you know, after this one right here will be ground zero, because that's where I am, honestly. And I don't want to talk too, too, too much because I don't want to, you know, repeat myself on the next episode from what I'm saying now. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and say thank you so much to the new subscribers to you know my old listeners you know oldies but goldies thank y'all so much and I just want to say hello even to the new people that may be listening because I met some folks in my training class that actually listen to podcasts and we had to get up and tell a couple of things about ourselves when we were introducing you know each other in class and of course I told them that I had a podcast so hey y'all to the new listeners thank you so much for being very supportive but yeah I just wanted to just slide through real quick you know I honestly don't have a whole whole lot for today but you know I've I've been getting um, DMs on Instagram you guys have been wondering where I have been and why I haven't been recording but I promise you I will have consistent content uh, uploading within the next couple of weeks so I just I couldn't sit back another day you know another week and not say anything because it's been weighing so heavy on my heart um, that I haven't been recording and you know because this is ministry for me and it's also you know one of my avenues of healing so yeah we got a lot to talk about you know in the next episode we got a lot to catch up on um I signed divorce papers yes I did um it's been a lot that's been going on a lot of ending to things and a lot of new doors opening for me um just working and walking through this process you know of healing you know of um you know uprooting and and replanting and and withering and blooming but through it all you know God is still faithful you know he's still awesomely amazing and I still give God the glory and all that I have going on you know in my life so yeah, I love you guys, and you will hear from me in the next week and a half, as a matter of fact. Um, well, no, I take that back. I take that back. My plan is to record again before the end of the year. So you will hear you will hear another episode from me, um, which will be the last episode of this year, of 2019. And I'm also thinking I'm going to go ahead and close this season out because... Yeah, yeah, might as well just end this season with this year and with this other chapter that I just walked out of. So, yeah, season three will be approaching in 2020, and I'm excited about the content that I have and all of that good stuff. So, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna go. And uh, if you guys need anything, you know how to get in contact with me, you know, via Instagram, via Facebook, and um. Yeah, y'all got my email address as well. And those of you who know me personally, you have my new number because she got a new phone number, new number who this. But yeah, but I love you guys. Please, please, please keep me lifted. Keep me covered in your prayers. Keep my children in your prayers. Um, this is a new journey for us and starting all the way over from um, things that you have worked so hard to build and you no longer have due to unforeseen circumstances it can be a lot so yeah but anyway i love you guys thank you so much for listening and i'll talk to you in the next episode bye bye
Thank you guys so much for listening and for all of your love and support. It's greatly appreciated. Please remember to rate, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to discuss, slide in your girl's DM on Instagram. All of my social media platforms are Broken Women Win. That is Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can also follow my blog on my website, which is BrokenWomenWin.com. Until next time, be breezy. Be breezy.